Hello everyone. Welcome to my birthday live stream. Uh, hopefully it's going to work this time. I have tried, this I think is my third time, trying to get the stream to work. It's been a long time since I've streamed on here. But so far so good because the video had been freezing almost immediately and now it's working. It hasn't frozen yet. Yay! Oh, Jeremy! Hello! Sketchy do! Yay! I'm glad you made it. Did you see any of the uh, the previous attempts? <laughs> or am I not, like, was I not uh, confusing anyone with all the issues I was having? Ah, so what I'm gonna do today for my birthday celebration... Oh, you were... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Seems like I fixed it now, though. Yay. Um, I'm going to open this month's Art Snacks box. I was, like, really excited. Um, it's kind of weird because I'm, like, almost exactly a year behind <laughs> my Art Snacks box. But it arrived... I think it arrived on my birthday. So I was like, yes. This is what I want to... This is what I want to do. I want to open this, even though... This is the newest one in like a huge big backlog. Arisa! Satuita! Hello! Yay! Two of you! I'm gonna open it! This month's Art Snacks box! At first I was torn whether I should open this one or open an old one. And then I was gathering all my old boxes and I realized that I'd opened one out of order already so it wasn't a big deal for me to open this one out of order. A year worth of packages to open sounds like fun. I think so too. Like I haven't been able to keep up because of school but now that school is all online it's actually... I keep thinking like, you know what? I could just start live streaming right now in between classes or whatever. So I might actually do that. So here's the actual snack in this box, a little Smarties. There's always an actual snack. That's what I call it. I don't know if anyone else calls it that, the actual snack. Like in italics, actual. Sketchy of you, so much cardboard. I know, right? Watch this. Here's all the cardboard <laughs> from all the boxes that I had already opened but didn't deal with. <laughs> A huge amount and then I've got even more than this to open. Got that in my recycle bin. At least they are cardboard though. I was subscribed to a different um, art supply surprise box in the past and they always did these little fancy magnetic boxes which is cool if you're just getting one box like for a present for someone but it actually kind of sucks if you're getting them every month and then you have this stack of like fancy boxes with nothing to do with them here's the menu but I don't want to look at it because I want it to be a surprise and here's the actual package nothing extra this time. I want my stickers in here. I usually give you a sticker. Well, let's see. Yay! I'm so glad you guys are here because since it was in the morning I didn't know if anybody would actually want to show up to the morning one on Saturday. Woo! Whoa! Yay, my sticker is in here. This red pen got all over here. Ah, uh -huh. says Gold Faber Aqua, so it's probably a watercolor pencil. Good thing I have my watercolor kit right over there, ready to go. Ah, oh, there's another one, and it got all over that pen. What colors are these? It doesn't have a color name, but there's like red and a uh, orangish yellowish color. Satuita, I did just roll out of bed, lol. <laughs> I made it a point to get up in time to get my stream ready, and even with that, I had so much trouble getting this to work that I was like 15 minutes late starting, but I guess I would have been even later if I hadn't 
thought to do that in the first place. Another water brush, but this is one that I've not seen one quite like this. It's the Tombow brand, which I like their stuff. Flat brush tip. Hmm. Tombow water brush. What's this? There's two of these. Oh, I have some of these in other colors. Like, I have a white one. Pit Artist Pen Big Brush. Big Brush. Oh. Yeah, but it's like a soft... I need a scrap paper. I bet it's like a soft, squishy... Because it says it's a brush. Although it's not. It doesn't have, like, little individual fibers. Look at these nice colors. Big Brush. Cobalt Green. An ultramarine. I wouldn't call this ultramarine myself, but maybe the color that comes out is different. This is more like a lavender blue. This my time before bed, so yeah, I'm awake. <laughs> Yay, at least you would be here, Jeremy. <laughs> Since for you, this is nighttime. I totally understand. You know I used to work that same kind of shift for so long. Pigma Micron PN Archival Ink. I've gotten one of these before. So now I have two. Sakura Pigma line. And here's my sticker. I like that they started doing all these fancy sticker designs. So I've got my uh, pencil shavings tin. And you can see the old sticker, the old design with just the classic pencil look, number two pencil look on the top, but then you can also see so many different ones. So this one will go boop, right here. Yay. Alright, so let's actually read about this stuff. Tombow Water Brush Flat Tip. It says it's six ninety nine retail. And it says new product. Ha! I knew I hadn't seen this before, like in the store or something. I guess I'll hold it like this so you can see it. <laughs> it says, create beautiful washes of color with a Tombow water brush. Its flexible flat tip delivers broad coverage and will easily blend your new watercolor pencils. Simply fill the barrel with water and give it a light squeeze to get the liquid flowing. So that's like a standard... A standard one. Let's open it. I'm gonna have to use this to do my art snacks challenge. I was hoping this part would be squishy, but it's just it's the same hardness as the rest of this. This is actually softer because you squeeze the water out through it. I'm gonna have to fill this up. But I won't do it quite yet. I'll read about the rest of this stuff. A little flat, flat brush. Not my fave flat brush, but mm, oh well. What else? Now it's talking about these. Barbara Castell Pit Big Brush Artist Pens. Think big. Oh, and it says six dollars retail each. Think big and draw even bigger. Barbara Castell Pit. Big brush artist pens combine a modern brush nib with traditional India ink. Oh, that's cool. India ink is pigmented, very light fast, it can last over 25 years, and waterproof, making it a popular choice among artists everywhere. Lay down full coverage or narrow detailed strokes with these versatile pens. I'm going to need to get a, a little scrap paper so I can test these out. And then next is these watercolor pencils which the fact that they got all over the paper is actually a good thing to me because it means that the color should come off really easily and you can get a really uh, vibrant vibrant wash or whatever because I've used watercolor pencils in the past where it's like so hard and you can't get any pigment off and then it's like why did I even bother because it, looks, it almost looks like I did nothing <laughs> So, these are called Faber-Castell Gold Faber Aqua Watercolor Pencils. It's so long. It's such a mouthful. $125 retail each. That's not bad. 
Transform your drawings into watercolor paintings with Faber-Castell Gold Faber Aqua Watercolor Pencils. That's so long. These water-soluble colored pencils easily meet the needs of any artist, thanks to their excellent coverage and light fastness. The brilliant colors remain intense, wet, or dry, resulting in unlimited options for blending techniques. That's cool. There's, so, so there's one more thing, and that's this pen, which I've gotten before from an Art Snacks box. Sakura Pigma Micron PN. 289 retail staff favorite it says perfect for everyday writing and sketching the sakura pigma micron pn features a durable plastic nib and then that's what pn stands for that produces consistent fine or medium lines the archival ink is quick drying and waterproof making this pen the perfect companion to your new watercolor pencils yay all right, so I'm going to need some watercolor paper for sure. And there's my sticker, this paper, okay. I'll just put this, like, and put it right here. Oh, I can't see what it is. I'll put it right here. <laughs> I'll put the candy there. Candy, sticker. Okay. Here's my supplies. So, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fill this up with water. Okay, I'm sort of back, but now I need some paper. Hold on. Yes, I found the perfect thing. A multimedia sketchbook that I got from a previous Art Snacks box. How goes life? Well, considering everything happening right now, it's going pretty well. <laughs> How about you? Is it has has stuff calmed down at least a little bit at the grocery store, or is it still crazy working at a grocery store right now? Oh, Satuita. Life is pretty chill. Animal Crossing has been a good tranquilizer. Haha. <laughs> 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 But spring season is making everything beautiful. It's so true, especially the Animal Crossing part. <laughs> I'm doing in my free time, log on to Animal Crossing. I actually made a daily checklist so that I don't forget to, like, log into the Tom Nook bell dispenser thing and get my daily bonus points or whatever. <laughs> and all the other stuff that you want to do every day. All right, so first I'm going to just test this stuff. Sketchy do my they delayed my game game till the end of the year. What's your game game? There's this orange one. It is really vibrant. It's going down really fast, too. It does make a lot of little specks of dust though. I don't like those blow on them to get them to get them off my page so I don't want pigment going where I don't want it well look nice I'm going to spread it out here and then I can try blending it with the red one too Oh, I swear The Last of Us Part 2 is never coming out now. <laughs> It'll come out eventually.
just got to be patient. I totally understand stuff being delayed. Oh, saved up for the Olympics for so long. I've never saved up for something like that before. And then it's like, oh, have a virus. That's the universe talking. Have a virus. Deal with this. <laughs> Fine, I'll deal with it, universe. Uh, actually, it's kind of a, at least for the Olympics, for me, it's kind of a nice thing. Or at least there's a silver lining because um, it gives me extra time to save and it gives me extra time to learn more Japanese so that I can get around more easily while I'm there. So I'm trying to think of it as a positive thing. So now I'm going to try this water brush. Tombow one. I've used a million different water brushes, but never a Tombow one, so... Ah, uh, they thought it insensitive to release it during a pandemic. Was supposed to be next month. The release is now. Who knows? Well, I think that's probably so, especially because, you know, people are dying. It's not... It's not good. <laughs> it's a really horrible time right now, so... I think it's that was a good call on their part. Dang, dude, look at this. This is gorgeous. Woo! I already have a really nice set of watercolor pencils that I really like, but I might have to like at least add this to my wish list or something. Cause this is amazing. This looks amazing. Ah, I need some I need paper towel. So now I want to see what it's like when I just blend. When I just blend in uh, this part. Just look at it. Just as soon as you put the water down, the pigment goes whoop. There's like no... What I found with other watercolor pencils is that you can see the lines still where you drew, even though you put the water on it. But these, you don't see that at all. It just spreads out. It's like uh, butter smooth or something. <laughs> something like that. Zombie game right now is hilarious. <laughs> Santoita. <laughs> They still released Resident Evil 3 Remake yesterday. Yeah, seriously, Doom Eternal is also out. Played both. Well, I guess if everybody else is releasing their games, then maybe it's not that big of a deal. Not sure. Oh, this looks great. What if I drag the color down? What does that look like? A little more water, though. Yes, look at it. Look at it just traveling down. This brush cleans up pretty well. I guess it's a little stained now from the red, but it's pretty good on the yellow. Might be too late to drag this one down. Well, there's some interesting stuff happening. If I do this. Hmm. Ah, oh, this red one looks great. Even the yellow, where I did it a little too late, Still did a really nice wash of color. It looks immersion. Okay, what else? I tried this one. I tried this one. Oh, well, I know this pen works good, but I'll just do it just to do it. I've used this pen before. I've given it out in an art snacks box before. Boop, 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 boop. The Sakura Micron pen line. Well, Sakura Pigma line because there's Micron and then there's. What is it? 
where is it? Graphic. But this Pigma line is my go-to for like sized pens that are a specific size. That works good. I didn't get a dud. <laughs> for real, that yellow is bright as mm, yep. It looks awesome. I'm really happy with these. Like, I might want to get them. They're so good, I might want to get them. I might want to buy them. This one is the cobalt green. I got a good color selection this time. Sometimes I get color combinations in my boxes and I'm like, what am I going to do with these? Uh, you know what? The yellow is not here. Here's what the yellow more looks like to me. It's getting totally washed out here. I wonder if I can change that. Eh. Let's see if I can change it during the stream. I'm not sure if I can. Uh, properties. Configure video. Why does it open on that screen? Turn down the brightness. Oh! that change it for you guys? Ah, it did. There. That's more accurate. <laughs> Add the brightness up too high. It looked good when I only had only white stuff on the... <laughs> you know, just this white box, white table. Okay. There, that's better. You can see it more accurate. But it still looks great, doesn't it? Look at it. It's so beautiful. Such a beautiful yellow. Oh wait, this is the one I wanted to use. This is the so-called ultramarine, but I... We'll see. Oh yeah, it is darker. <laughs> it is darker than the... The actual, the plastic body of the pen. What is that? I think it's darker anyway. I feel like it should be even darker though to call it ultramarine. Especially since... In art history this semester, I, like, learned the origin of ultramarine, and it means, like, beyond the sea and everything, like. Although that's about where it came from, not what the color is, but I just always think of it as should be. It should be darker because when I see it used in paintings, it's a very dark blue, actually. It's, like, like a very rich, very rich blue. Blue balance as well. It's the primary, so now you can mix anything. That's true. That's true. I did get the primaries. Well, this is more like an orange yellowish one, but the fat ones are waterproof. Supposedly, I wanted to try this out. I just wanted to do a swipe and test. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're totally waterproof. Mm. Cool. Let's test this. Mew, mew. Yep, these three all survived the water, although I smeared it while it, this one while it was still wet. Whoopsie. Now it looks like my work shirt's color of teal. Oh, yeah. I remember that color. I remember wearing those shirts. I worked in the bakery and the deli and the blah blah blah. The color haunts me. <laughs> Uh, I understand. Well, endure it. <laughs> endure it for my sake. <laughs> yeah, it does look... Now that you mention it, it's that exact color. Well, now you know what color it is. Cobalt green. <laughs> mm, okay, so I've got this test sheet. Oh, although it's still wet. How am I... So I just wanted to keep using this notebook. Well, I guess while it's drying... What do you think... <laughs> Oh, excuse me. What do you think I should draw with this? What should I do for my art snacks challenge? What should be the subject matter? These colors make a really nice sunset color, or I might do some sort of bird. Or is there anything else? Can you guys think of anything that I could do with this? So, and these ones are waterproof. These ones are water-soluble. 
So these might be better for some sort of background and just fill it in and then, oh, you know what? Is this dry enough? I want to see what these look like on top of here. Not too much different. I think I can just draw directly on here. Yeah. It is a little darker up here where it's the pigment is heavier. But they don't seem to get lost in this red or this yellow color. A landscape. A landscape. Mmm, landscape. I could do like a mountains with sunset. Because the blue could be sort of like the shadowy mountains with the sun is behind it. Then the shadows are a cool color because the warm. Or it could be a sunrise too. Can't, can't really. Can't really tell the difference. Mm. That's funny because I just did, just for fun, a few days ago, this. <laughs> it's a sea sunset. That's weird, actually. Look it. This the colors. <laughs> I was just using what was in front of me at the time because I had a bunch of. I don't know. Yeah, I was using a little. Oh, Arissa, it was the travel watercolor kit that you gave me. I think for my birthday a long time ago. That's super weird that I did this. It's like I manifested the colors or something. It's like exactly the same. Strange. Well, it's not exactly the same. It's pretty close, though. Weird. <laughs> well, I can do a landscape. Oh. Okay. I think if I... This page is still a little damp, but I think if I just flip it like this and don't set it on here... Because normally I like to do this. But with it still being wet, I don't want it to, like, get the moisture through in here and, like, affect this drawing. But if I just set it like that, then it won't, won't touch it. And move this stuff, though. So you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Well, job's done. <laughs> I did it ahead of time, and I didn't know. I didn't even know. So let's see. I wonder how I should do... This is how I did it before. I made the sun yellow and then... So I guess I'll do that again. <laughs> I wonder what it would be like... Okay, hold on. I gotta... Ah, but if I do it... Ah, I'll just do it. I'm gonna see what it's like if I do the color on top. Instead of a pre-bake for a cooking show, you did a pre-art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so strange. Hmm. It does change the color a little bit. But that's probably fine, because... Although it makes it darker. Well, actually, that would... Yeah, I'll go with it. So I'm going to use these first. And I'll draw mountains and stuff. I wonder if I should use these to go up. It's just an experiment, so here we go. Wait, what color do I want to use? Wait, okay. One more. What do these look like on top of each other? Oh, this one totally obliterates. Well, not totally, but I do this one on top of this one. It's weird. It's probably an optical illusion, but it seems like the combined areas of this side are darker than the combined areas of this side. I don't know why that would be. Okay. Alright. Here we go. I'm just going to be really 
whatever with it and just do whatever, you know. <laughs> just do whatever. Mountains. Mountains. Yeah. Mountains. Mountains. So I guess I should leave a little bit of white spots so it'll be like the snow on the top. The snow on the top of the mountains. Yes. Yes. Try not to get on the next page. pretty good. That looks mountainous. I guess. Yay. So you two are both artists. What have you been making recently? What are your current projects? Tell me about your art. I'm sort of figuring this color is just going to be like representing the forest or something because it's a greener bluish color. That's kind of cool I think actually. Just a little bit. Little clumps of trees or something. Yeah. Or something. Little details. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a few up and down lines. Just like this area is closer so you can actually see a little bit of the shapes of the trees. And I'll tilt it up higher so it's like the trees are getting smaller. The trees are getting smaller. And now you can't tell. Sadly, nothing. Since I lost Zen, I haven't really done much art. Oh, that's sad. Poor kitty. He was such a good boy. I totally understand. Maybe you could draw a little picture of Zen. And he could have little angel wings. actually working pretty good to make a little forest texture just hitting it on the side of the brush tip instead of the tip or dragging it and then use the tip to get it in teeny tiny looking trees <gasps> Reese welcome that idiot you hate happy birthday stream thank you Welcome! I'm glad you could make it! All my best people are showing up. I'm so happy. Air is dry or something. It's just something new to Dry cough. Dry, non-productive cloth. And this is awesome. This looks pretty mountainous. And all I've done is these two colors. These two, um, 
artist pens. Pit artist pens. I always wonder what the pit stands for. I think I've looked it up and I've forgotten. Because I've never seen anybody else. Only this Bobber Castell has this P-I-T-T -T and it's all capitalized. It probably stands for something. Okay, so I'll do some detail work last with this. So now, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm actually going to do the color pretty light in the middle. And then I'll make it heavier toward the outside of the disk of the sun. I'll spread it out pretty far and then I will blend it with the red. <clears throat> looks like a tundra setting. That would be cool. I think I wrote my sixth grade climate report on tundra. <laughs> so we had to choose a climate and then write about it. Is it tundra where moose live? Because that's what I wrote about. I wrote about the climate where moose live, and that's all I remember about <laughs> my paper. Oh, and also I made a lot of grammatical mistakes that my parents tried to help me fix, and I just wouldn't listen. <laughs> so, and when I read it in later years, I was like, oh, they were right. This is so bad. <laughs> yes, now let's add the red. I'm just using the side of the pencil so I can get a wider mark and cover more space. Also doing it kind of light because I don't want to leave any heavy lines here because I want it to be kind of smooth. Just like the light would be in the sky. The scene is looking good so far. Yay, thank you! I like it when my art snacks are work well together. Like not just physically but um, aesthetically. <laughs> I often, I feel that I often don't get good aesthetic combos. Or maybe I just don't know how to use them all together aesthetically. Or it doesn't, doesn't work in my mind for what I would prefer to do, I guess. Because I think anybody can make anything work and make it look awesome. But we all have our like preconceptions about what we want to make or how we want to make it and that affects what you can come up with. <clears throat> Trying to get a heavier red in the corner and then I'll be able to drag it down and it would be a nice gradient, I hope, between these two colors. Harissa, did you say what art you're working on? I don't know if I lost lost your message in the jumble. I've never had such a busy chat before. It's kind of hard to keep up with. <laughs> You guys are the best. I'm so happy. This is all I wanted to do for my birthday celebration with this weird situation we're all in right now. Just wanted to do something I've been wanting to do for a while, which is stream art. Okay. I think that's good enough. I'm going to start blending this with the water. Whee! Here we go. on itself go out I'm just gonna drag it out because I don't want to get this heavier color into the Ooh, I'm gonna get it on the mountains on purpose yes <laughs> like the light is shining okay Need more water. okay so I want the Sun itself to be like really bright like it's almost white ah, I need more water Oh, 
Ah, yes, the part where it blends with the two colors is the best. Oh, this would actually work better if I had a bigger brush because it's like I can't get enough water on and it keeps making streaks, but it's just for fun, so it's okay. Brilliant, brilliant sunset, or sunrise, can't really tell the difference. I've just been going with the flow, random sketching, coloring, rearranging my furniture, and island and animal cross. Yeah, if I didn't have classes to keep up with, I think I'd just be playing nothing but Animal Crossing and Otome games. That's what I did during spring break. Whoa, look at this paper, it curled up super... Super intense. Whenever I have free time, all I want to do is play Animal Crossing. <clears throat> bring this down on, bring this colors down onto the mountains on purpose to show that the light is reaching, bending over the mountains. I don't know if you just heard that, but Bear just meowed at my door outside of my room. Animal Crossing is life now. It's true. It's true. It's totally life. It's so fun though. Animal Crossing was always life. Every time an Animal Crossing came out, ever since the first one in America on GameCube. Not really feeling any big projects lately. Even though I have a skateboard due soon, I might cancel because even before the quarantine, I wasn't feeling that excited about the collective art shows this year. Well, it might work good if you just make yourself do it. You might surprise yourself. Just force yourself to work on it for at least like a little bit. But I totally understand how you can just be like, don't care right now about stuff because that keeps happening with my school stuff. I'm like, uh, this is due, and then I can't, I don't have, I don't have the mental fortitude right now to deal with stuff. <clears throat> Let's put a little bit of colored pencil. I don't know if it's even going to show up. just wanted to, I know, do this. Get the pigment right off of the pencil. get some of the sunset color in here or sunrise sun event the sun event color at one point I wanted to play both Animal Crossing and Doom Eternal so I settled and played Animal Crossing whilst listening to the Doom Eternal soundtrack good idea that probably changes <laughs> the feeling of the game dramatically Alright, that's probably good enough. Clean my brush a little bit. Well, this is actually looking... Even though it's almost the same, it's a very close color palette. I feel like it still looks like a totally different... This is such a, a cooler red. Well, I guess this isn't even red, this is orange. <clears throat> So I gotta wait for this to dry before I can use this. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for it to dry. Mick Gordon is such a good composer. YouTube slash watch. I click. I click link. Although I don't have my sound on right now, so I'll have to listen later. <laughs> ah. Soundtrack. Composer. Mm. 
what type of music what what type of soundtrack is it is it like a what do they call it like an epic sort of grand kind of soundtrack or is it more like because I've never played any of the Doom games so I don't have any idea what it might be like is it like techno music or or what give me an idea of what your Animal Crossing with the Doom soundtrack was like <laughs> heavy metal electronic yeah like a dark sci-fi oh sounds good sounds like music I could get into I usually like soundtracks though there's something about soundtracks that is so different it's just like this little subtle thing even if it's a soundtrack that's meant to sound like songs from a certain genre of music that's you know music to, that's made just to be music and not be a soundtrack it still sounds like a soundtrack for instance like the cowboy bebop soundtrack all the songs are made to be like uh they sound like various different types of music like it actually sounds like a lot of indie music or something like that but still in the end I only like the Cowboy Bebop soundtrack. I don't like those genres of music on their own. If I hear a song that's not from it, then again, I might just be biased because I like Cowboy Bebop so much. When it hits, it hits so damn hard. Happy. <laughs> Satoita, the story element is what I like. Story element of a song. Ah, me too. I love songs that tell a story. Especially ones that like literally tell a story like their lyrics describe a tale from beginning to end. So even if the music itself is not something that I would normally want to listen to, if it's telling a cool story, then I will sit and listen to the whole thing. Ooh, that reminds me. I'll find, I'll find and share a link to one of my favorite story songs. Let's see. Nina, Nick, Kenneth, Highwayman. It's actually based on a poem, but her version is so... Oh, why does it have, like, Spanish subtitles? I don't need Spanish subtitles. I don't need that Espanol. Uh, well, it's probably still in English. Here. Hopefully this is good. This is a story song I love. Every time I hear it, I am so moved. Paste. Boom. Now I'm going to listen to Jeremy's link when I'm done streaming, and I'm going to listen to my link. <coughs> Sketchy, do you... That story, you as the Doom Slayer are a badass demon slaughtering machine. Demon slaughtering machine. This is still a little damp. I wonder if I should like fan it. I wonder if that will make it go faster. I'm just killing time until this is dry so I can put these lines on here. And I think it'll really pop once I add excuse me some lines some black detail lines what do you think I should add with these lines I was thinking of adding some details to the mountains of course maybe like some little like a little indication of a bird or something flying although that's so far away I don't know if you'd see a bird I could also add like decorative elements. It doesn't have to be all literal or whatever. I could add like some sort of scroll effect or something in the corners. Add a dragon. <laughs> what, like in the sky? Like here? Like A little indication of a dragon. 
Yeah, that's better than a bird. A dragon riding a human. <laughs> I don't think you could fit that on there. It would be down here. I'll draw that next. <laughs> Actually, I could just sketch that while I'm waiting for this to dry. I'm not that good at just drawing stuff without a reference, but I will just, it's just a sketch, so don't judge me. <laughs> eh. Eh. I'm making the noise for the person. <laughs> I'm making the noise for the person carrying the dragon. <laughs> of this massive creature. So <laughs> happy. Uh okay. Don't judge me. The shoulder is broken. It's okay. It's okay. Are her noise? person. Yes. You got this. You got this. <laughs> what a good way to wait for that other picture to try. Think Link grunts. <laughs> yeah. He has such a wide variety of noises. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it. This is a really generic dragon. It's just impromptu, so whatever. Boop. Oh, and it needs an arm. Whoop. It's like a big kitty. Just a big kitty. It's got some little rolls where it's all squished up. Dragon rolls. <laughs> I think that's a kind of sushi, but here it has a different meaning. person to be walking on. <laughs> this is great. Thank you for the great idea. Here's his back foot. Wow, this word. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, this is 
funny. Ooh, he thick. <laughs> Fantastic meteor. He thick. <laughs> Ooh. Dang, I drew it so I can't really put like a happy face. Put the little nostrils. Oh, it's cute. If I do say so myself. I kind of want to put spikes on it, but... Let me leave room. Plus, I don't want it to be too hard on this person's back. <laughs> so I'll make them, like, round. There. I'm being nice to my own person that I... <laughs> He needs tiny, tiny wings. Okay. Yes. This is brilliant, y'all. Yes. <laughs> it's so small that you can't see the other one. It's on the other side. Meep. <laughs> That's why someone has to... That's why someone has him. <laughs> he need a snack. Doritos and Mountain Dew. How? Oh, I'll put him on the tail. That's why his tail is up like this. Or her. It. Boop. The tail is up to hold the snacks. Those. Those triangles. Delicious. Oh, Mountain Dew. It needs a two liter, at least. In fact, it's three liter. Mount D. Yes, delicious. Put little sparkles. Yes. This dragon is living the life. The dragon lives the life. Yes. <laughs> you guys, this is so great. I never would have drawn something this like this in my life. Ever. Oh, it's kawaii! It's kawaii! I like it a lot. It's so cute. This is probably dry. Ah, it's still the tiniest bit damp here. <clears throat> what else? I guess I could add a little hatching on this person. Should be dark here where the dragon is, casting a shadow on this person. <laughs> this dragon fell hard into online gaming. Ah, <laughs> Sajita. Uh, <laughs> I think the D is mounted though. <laughs> He thick, he snack, but most important, human carrying him on their back. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, what should I title this? Noah, I'm going to title it that. He thick. He snack. But. Most important, human carrying him on their back. Oh, it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. It's so good. Let's 
date it. What is the date for? 20th year? 4th month? 4th day? By Mika and company. You guys, it's so good. I need to scan this and put it online. It's so good. Brilliant. Four, four. Four, four. All right, surely this one is dry enough. Let's finish it off. Oh, this is so good. I like this one. This pen is really good, too. Look at how nice this looks. These lines are so... They're just so nice. This is a good pen. I'm glad I have two of these now. It's a good pen to have two of. So I don't want to put too many lines on the top of the mountains, I think, because I want to... Be like the sun is making it hard to see that because it's so bright and it's shining, making the edge of the mountains difficult to comprehend. It needs to be colored sometime. I was thinking that. Maybe I'll color it digitally. I, I feel like it would be a shame for it to get all wrinkled like this one is. Maybe some bright, blocky color would look really good too. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Perhaps, mayhaps. Oh, I suddenly get hungry. I had a donut for breakfast. A delicious chocolate covered chocolate cake donut. And now I have coffee with chocolate milk in it. Adding texture like it's a forest. Forest growing on the mountains. I love those chocolate covered chocolate donuts. These are my favorite ones. Sean got them for me yesterday. These are from Albertsons and it's like Dunford Bakery, I think. And it, they're so good. They're so rich and delicious. Like they're so rich that I can only eat one and then I can't eat anything for a while. So much detail. It's so good. Oh, I learned the Japanese word for detailed. Oh, I already forgot it. I learned it yesterday from the Patreon that I follow, that I back or support or whatever that I'm subscribed to. This person posts lots of Japanese lessons. I'm like, oh, that's perfect for me because I love to make detailed art, so now I know how to say it. But I already forgot, dang it. It's like koteru or something. It means detailed. And it can also mean that you're into it. Like you can say, Animal Crossing ni koteru, and it means I'm into Animal Crossing. <laughs> I had the chocolate milk coffee for breakfast too. <laughs> yes, great minds, hunger alike. Great stomachs. Hunger alike. This part right here, every time I work on it, reminds me of Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. Probably because I'm currently rereading The Hobbit. I love that book. It's my fave. Ooh, I just learned from art history why, or perhaps why, 
Tolkien decided to make it so that dwarf maps are have east at the top because that's just like a little note in the foreword of the Hobbit and it's like oh no the dwarf maps are oriented with east at the top or something and it doesn't explain why or anything and it's always seemed so random to me like why would you do that why would you deviate from the norm like at least explain it well it turns out that maps in the past before maps were actually useful were oriented to the east uh, maps made in Europe were oriented to the east because that's where Jerusalem is because they were Christian centric land at that time and so all the maps had east at the top and I'm like oh Tolkien was a super smart guy so he probably knew that he was like haha I'll just add that in there <clears throat> and then people who recognize its origins can be like oh I'm smart because that's how I feel <laughs> that was so cool though I did not expect to learn something about pop culture from my art history class early early modern period art history class I think that's good for mountain details oh I was getting off camera sorry about that yeah they're my favorite as well sometimes they have glazed chocolate donuts I like those too I really miss the chocolate donut holes my grandma used to get me yes chocolate donuts are the best I like it when the... Sorry guys, I'm stretching. The, the uh, donut part, the dough part of the donut is actual chocolate. Ah, so good, especially if it's a cake. Cake style donut, mmm, delicious. Sarah Quilt, sorry I'm late, just woke up. That's okay. I thought you were crying for donuts. Who, me? You thought I was crying for donuts? I had donuts. Wait, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. Sarah, how are you doing over there? All the way on the East Coast. <laughs> Stretch. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, guys, you know what's awesome? Um... So I always get the birthday reward from Krispy Kreme Donuts, and it's usually one free donut with a free plain like coffee, iced or hot. And this year they're like, we know that your birthday isn't the same this year, so we're giving you a free dozen donuts. I'm like, hell yes, dude! A free dozen of donuts? This is the best! It makes it almost worth it. <laughs> Or at least it makes it much better because it's been disappointing. There's so many aspects to be disappointed about, about one's birthday happening during this this situation. Ah, oh, a free dozen donuts. Yay. Haven't cashed in on that yet, but I'm going to. They also extended the amount of time that it can work. So I was going to draw a dragon on this too. Hmm. I think I'll draw an Asian style dragon because I think it would look nicer with the overall aesthetic of this because trying to draw wings and stuff I think it'll for like a Western style dragon it'll just look like a little blob it won't be as elegant as a long serpentine Asian style dragon my birthday came like a week too early for all the consolation gifts, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> with the Krispy Kreme thing, they're definitely the best. Their reaction to the, the situation, because some places didn't change their offer at all. Like, there's a pizza place where you get a free pizza, but you have to use it within two days of your birthday. And you have to, like, come in to use it. I'm like, well, that's not happening, because they don't. They don't have delivery or else it doesn't work on delivery. And so it's already expired. They didn't extend it. Other ones haven't changed their offers, but they're like, we're not, since we know you can't use it right now, we'll send you another email when we reopen and you can use it. And another level of consideration is 
it's the same exact offer and stuff, but they've extended the expiration date. Krispy Kreme is definitely, they earned some points in my book. <laughs> Give me a dozen donuts. You're having 11 extra donuts. We hope that it makes you feel better. <laughs> it does. Sugar works. Food works. Let's see. Okay. Draw a dragon. It's going to be far away, so we're going to try to keep it not too detailed. I don't want it to be... I'm going to work with this. The overall aesthetic of this. Mew, mew, mew. There it is. It's flying along. That's pretty good. Maybe I should color it with these uh, markers. Which one? Which do you think? This greener marker to fill in this dragon or the blue, the bluer one? Help me pick, guys. Y'all. Help me pick. Green or blue? Green dragon or blue dragon? Green dragon or blue dragon? Jeremy says blue dragon. Oh, Jenny says green dragon. Oh, is there going to be a tiebreaker? Blue or green? Blue or green? Whoever answers next is going to be the tiebreaker. Flip a coin! <laughs> you can't decide either. Okay, Sarah says green. Green it is. Looks like you used a little more blue in the mountains. That is true. I did. I did the mountains in the blue first, and then I just used the green as accent to kind of make it feel like there was a forest or something. works really good on top of the dry watercolor. These pit, what is it? Pit artist pen, big brush. Looks good with the yellow too. Yay! Yay! Well, oh, it's so cute. I like it. Hmm. I need to do a little bit more color reflecting on the mountainous snow. The mountain snow. brush With the sunset this intense, it would definitely be coloring the landscape too. <laughs> I'll take that little icon as a compliment. Little Bob Ross icon. Thank you.
Yes. Yes. It looks great. Or at least for an art snacks challenge. This could be a cool um, sketch for future reference. Like I could make this into a more detailed and researched, you know, like look how mountains should actually look in a sunset like this or whatever and use more colors and draw a dragon more detailed. This adds good idea the dragon. I think Arissa suggested it. I can't remember for sure. Makes it so much more interesting. Adds a little psh, like oh point of interest. That's so cute. <laughs> As you should. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad I interpreted that correctly. Here's the other one we did. It was a little half hour earlier, but I think maybe I'll end this stream now. So we finished two different pieces. And then that way, since I had so much trouble getting this set up, I'm going to have to unplug this camera in order to do my game stream at one. So I feel like I should give myself some extra time even more time than I gave myself this morning to get that set up on my, because I have to use my laptop and I have to take it into a completely different room. I have to make sure to switch my laptop settings from my uh, other account and everything. So yeah, I think I'll end this now. Oh, oh man, I'm so sad I missed most of it. I can't believe I slept until 1.30. Well, you're free later. It won't be the same as art streaming, but I'm gonna, I'll be on again for my favorite game in the whole world. And I've been wanting to stream Suikoden for a long time, but I had no excuse or time. So I hope you can make it to that, at least even for a little small amount of time. Yay. Thanks for the stream, Denise. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy to talk to you guys. So... I'm gonna say goodbye for now, and hopefully I'll see you later.